Hey students, Mr. Vincent here. In this fourth video, this fourth lesson, we're going to be looking at adjusting endpoints. Now, if you remember back to class, we've actually been using um, three different terms for different parts of what we're making in SketchUp, for different parts of the models. There are endpoints, which are the dots that are connected together. There are edges, which connect those endpoints together. And then there are faces, which are two-dimensional shapes that result from both of those and what we're going to be looking at specifically here is how to edit and modify and adjust endpoints that will then, as a result, adjust the faces. Let's get started. This is assignment four. If you've not yet done assignments one, two, or three, please make sure you get those finished and turned in to teams before we continue. Well, now that we're here, I want to remind us where we left off. At the end of video three, we made tags, and these tags helped us stay organized. We've got one called name that contains the shapes of our name, and we've got another one for everything that does not have a current shape. Now, um, now that we have this, what I'm actually going to do is we're going to modify our first name. Now, before we get started on that, we do want to make sure we go up here. We've got the file named properly. We made a copy of it, file save as. This is SketchUp Project 4 endpoints. Make sure you've got yourself organized in a file for today's work. Now, in SketchUp, there's a nice feature similar to what Word and PowerPoint and all sorts of other programs have called copy and paste. I certainly don't know what I would do without copy and paste. And it's here in SketchUp too. And so what I want us to do is take our first name that we made with shapes and copy it. The way that we're going to do that, we're going to use a select tool. This is one of the few times in SketchUp I'm going to have you click and hold and drag. Okay, so now I've got my name selected. Now, obviously, at this point, this would be where I control C and control V. I just did both of those, but I haven't touched the mouse yet. As soon as I do, you'll see that my name is now able to be moved and put into position here in two-dimensional space. So what I'm going to do is just put it somewhere. Okay. Now, hopefully, you've had an opportunity to be using a two-button plus scroll wheel mouse like the one I have here. As a reminder from previous lessons, Mr. Barrett, Ms. Her in the office, and I are working on getting one for you. If you told us you don't have one and you filled out that form in class, if you still didn't fill out that form, Please make sure you reach out to me by Teams chat. Let me know you don't have one. We will put you on the list to get one of these, okay? Makes your life so much easier in SketchUp. And so what we're going to do right now is we are going to zoom in on this bottom version of our name. And now we haven't done too much as far as how to use SketchUp controls for navigating because we haven't been doing much navigating. But the scroll wheel on your mouse is for zooming in and out. And so if you start scrolling in and out, you'll notice that, hey, you can actually go in and out here. Um, and what I also want to point out here, genius, is you go where your mouse is. And so in this particular case, I want to go to this bottom version of my first name. And so I would scroll in towards that point zoom out towards that point. If I wanted to go to the O in my last name, I would just move the mouse over there, start using the scroll wheel, and I would start to go towards the mouse. Very helpful to know how to navigate around in SketchUp. Well, I'm going to zoom back into the second version of my first name because what we're going to do here is use the move tool. Okay, the move tool is here. Um, if you don't want to use the toolbar, you can also press the M button on your keyboard. The M is for move. I know, shocker, right? Um, and so if I'm here at the select tool, I can press the M and it will navigate me to that move tool. Now, what I want to point out here is that we're not really using the move tool to move objects yet. We're going to have a lesson on how to do that before we start doing that. Um, you can start overlapping things. And if you haven't grouped things yet, it can be a problem. And so what we're instead going to do is we're going to change and modify endpoints. We're going to modify endpoints to change the shape. And so in this particular case right here, I've got the letter E, I've got the letter D. And when I hover over an endpoint, it turns green when I have the move tool. If I want to, if I were to click, remember I don't click and drag, I just click. 
and move around, the whole shape is going to move around. And so in order to move just an end point, the entire point of this lesson comes down to this. So pay attention. In order to move just that green end point, I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard. So if you look over here on the keyboard, I've got the shift button held down right now. That's the only thing that's being held down. I have no fingers on the mouse. And then when I click, I did that wrong timing, right? Um, and then when I click, oh, I have the whole thing selected. That's not what I want. Move tool, hover, just that spot selected, hold down shift, click and move. This can start to really get an ugly E. I can do the same thing with the midpoint. If I hold down shift, I'm just going to move that midpoint, which is going to let me shift the shape. Now it starts to look like uh, one of those weird faces. So here's the deal with your um, shape changes for today. You're just spending some time moving some of your pieces around, seeing what you can do, adjusting endpoints. Once you've got something done, I want you to zoom back out because I would like you to take a couple versions of your name. So you've got an original. I'm going to copy and paste this one more time. Control C, Control V, put it over here, click it into place unselect it okay so i'm going to go over here to the select tool make sure nothing is selected zoom in on a point that you want to adjust click m for the move tool when it's selected here when i can go and select the endpoint i have nothing again i've clicked nothing i can click once move that endpoint click again hold that spot come here find an endpoint click Again, I, I'm just moving the mouse around to change the shape. This is how this works. You just click. Please do not, again, do not click and drag. Just click. Gracefully move things. We don't click and drag. Okay? And so all that you're going to do is have a few things where you showed me that you changed. You changed some of the endpoints to change some of the um, change some of the edges and from the edges you changed some of the faces so once you've got something done like this make sure it's named SketchUp for endpoints I uh, go back into that snipping tool go to file new and take a snip of the entire screen as a reminder it needs to show the file name in one corner and in the other corner it does need to show the date and time of this file save this file save as be organized save it turn it in in 24 to 48 hours i will have updated for you exactly your grade and whether or not you need to do something if there's something you did this wrong i will send you a message in teams so you can see exactly what happened thanks for watching everybody as a reminder if you need help come on back to the class meeting since it is class time right now come on back to the class meeting otherwise send me a private chat in teams and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.